The final words that Jesus shares is, others like seed sown on good soil, hear the word, accept it, produce a crop, 30, 60, or even 100 times what was sown. This was that wow factor that we talked about earlier. And the thing with the wow factor is that at the time of producing crops, any farmer would hope to get eight times the yield with their seeds. Even though they knew that they would lose some along the path or some would go with, along the rocks or some would fall within the thorns, there were still some that would dive in and have that good soil and they would grow. If you look at this parable, you could probably find yourself at times in your walk, at times in your life to where you fell among the rocks, where you thought, oh, this was looking good, and then the next thing you knew, things weren't nearly as good as you thought they were. You could find yourself at times among the thorns where it just didn't seem like you could break free. You felt choked, you felt held down. You could find yourself at times where things seemed so great, and all of a sudden the sun just came up and scorched you, and you withered away. You felt the deceitfulness, you felt the desires, you felt all those things that kept you away from God. But there was also those times that you can look back to where you could only recognize God holding on to you. And it was at those times that you were the most fruitful. It was at those times you may have had the best friends you have ever had. It was at those times to where you were producing a crop. And it was at those times that it wasn't about you, it was really about what God was doing in your life. Where's God moving today in you? Where's God reaching you today? What is it that God intends for you to do? Will you take this as your mission to reach others and care for others one person at a time?